Hi, this is Jago Gold reporting from Jalan Besar Stadium where our team has just drawn 3-3 with Loyola Morocco Sparks. With an aggregate of 5-4, our team moves into the semi-finals of the RHV Singapore Cup. The starting 11 remained mostly the same as the first leg, while we Kay Vikram and Hender Arez started hit at right back, with Ahmad Latif moving to the centre and taking over the armband from Walid Lonis. The Jaguars survived a straight out onslaught from Loyola in the early stages of the contest, but Park Min Ho found the net in the 36th minute from a flick on by Zhang Zhong Wong, putting them ahead and levelling the aggregate score at 2 2. Ishmael Ben Ahmed calmed some nerves 12 minutes later, nicking the all important equaliser from Kamel Ramdani's pinpoint cross off the byline. The Sparks were dealt a blow in stoppage time after Park was given his marching orders for a vicious tackle on Monser Zucker, as the first half ended one all with the Jaguars holding a 3-2 lead on Ergigay. The Jaguars took full advantage of the sending off in the second half, with Ben Ahmed holding off the defence to feed the ball to Hafiz Noor who struck a hard and low finish into the bottom right corner. Jang pulled one back for the 10-man spark, sending their supporters into a frenzy. But Ramdani restored the lead with a sublime header from Hafiz North's corner. The Korean number 19 picked up a straight red for a horrific and unprofessional challenge on Cezali Saleh. Chad Gord managed to level the score at 3-3 after some confusion in the Jaguars defence. It was however too late for the Philippine side as the match ended with an aggregate score of 5-4 to our team. This result means our team qualifies for the semi-finals of the RHB Singapore Cup, where we will face yet another Philippine side, Global FC. Well, yeah, I think firstly, regarding about the game, I think overall we did well. Although we had the scoreline of 3-3, but I think everyone is satisfied with the score. And uh, we are looking forward to, for the semis, and I think, yeah, all of us must work hard and hopefully we will achieve something this season. So yeah. Uh, in a large backup, uh, when you play uh, two legs, the most important is uh, to be qualified for the next one. And uh, we achieved that. Uh, for that we are very happy. Uh, I'm very happy, I'm very proud about my team, how they manage the game. Uh, because we won the first leg and second leg we, we can manage. Uh, to do draw against this team and uh, it's the most important for, for us to, to reach a semi-final for Tanjung Pagar United it's a very good result and uh, now we, we, we can play the next round against uh, one more Philippine team uh, global and I think it's an exciting game and uh, interesting game but the, 
my disappointment today is for my player uh, who, who had the, the leg broken because uh, it's very bad. And it's not football, but it's like that. Ne never mind, we can handle the, the next game without him. It's an, uh, we play for him uh, all season now. Today, it's, tonight is a hard, hard game uh, against Loloya, a very good team. And uh, my teammates do a big effort to, to keep the result. And I'm so proud about my teammate because he kept the result until the last minute and we are qualified for the semi-final. Okay, today I have one thing about, against, uh, about Sazali because he's injured and I hope he's come back very fast. Also for Ismail. Uh, tonight, I'm, I repeat, I'm very happy for the score. Okay, it's raw, but we have the, the target is okay. It's the semi-final, sorry. And uh, see you the next game against the Global Reality. So join us for our next match on Sunday, 4th August at Woodland Stadium, where we will take on Woodland's Wellingtons in the S League. See you there. Tanjung Paga United Football Club is proudly sponsored by Singa Energy Drink, Thor, EB Chip Asia Pacific Private Limited, and Woodlands Transport Service Private Limited. <laughs>